Morning. This video contains grown folks talking. It's going to be probably some cussing and some talking crazy. And a whole bunch of having fun. So if you all sensitive and you ain't grown, then gone. I say gone now. Get. Deep in the heart of Harm Clark, Texas lies an artist unlike any you've ever seen before. Welcome to Doing Stuff with Uncle Rodney. Doing Stuff, Doing Stuff with Uncle Rodney. Doing Stuff, all kinds of stuff with Uncle Rodney. Let's get it. Welcome to Houston, where everything is an hour away from everything else in Houston. Man, look at this. Ain't this something? And this is my first trip to the studio trying to get my stuff, trying to collect my art in the studio for the show. Look at it forward and back I'm in the midst of it but yeah this is trip number one of today I got another one that I'll probably do this one I'm doing the sculptures at least the sculptures that I had left at the house that I'm gonna put in now for this show I'm not gonna put in my personal collection like I got about four sculptures at the house that I just refuse to move anymore they, ain't, ain't nobody got that kind of money and if they got that kind of money they need to holler at me but uh I ain't moving them I like them so much that I'm willing to keep them rather than sell them cheap and usually at these kind of shows I sell cheap so yeah, I'd rather keep them at the house than move them rather than sell them cheap. But these, yeah, they, they, they'd they be cheap. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I guess we're moving. Holler at me. All right. Just so you can see it. Before I set up the show. I was gracious enough to have and the artist before me go ahead and pull all their stuff out on time so that I could move in. So, yeah. That's the whole place. Now let's see what I can do with it. All right, day one is down, as you see, we got a lot of work. People don't understand. No, let me show you what I'm talking about. We got work behind work. So we got a lot of work. We got it all in here. Over there is the Hashtag America exhibit. Probably be the last time you see it in Houston at Hardy and Nance. So yeah, it, it's a traveling exhibit. We got the Real Woman exhibit, so that's gonna be showcased. Then we got the stuff that's for sale. We got the metal work. Y'all ain't y'all don't get it. Y'all better come out there and get this work. Cause it's gonna be probably the last time you're gonna see it like this, cause chapter 49 is the aftermath. And after the aftermath, it all changes. And it's liable to get more expensive. Just saying. Holla at me!
All right. We got our layout done. That was for tonight to figure out basically our layout. I'm walking through it fast. So this is night two. Where you can see where basically I had to figure out where I put the sculptures. So we got all the sculptures laid out. Night two. Night three is when I start hanging paintings. But when I hang the paintings, I'm not going to show y'all that because then you ain't going to have no excuse to come to the show. You're going to be like them folk that be like, well, I didn't see it. I saw it in the video. I didn't have to come to the show. I could see it on the video. Yeah. You can see it in the what's the name too. But I can't show you everything. Just like I got some surprises for that. And some surprises for that. I'll let y'all know about that later. And this over here too. So, we'll talk. All you gotta do is holler at me. Night three. People don't understand, man. It take a lot to do this, man. All I'm saying. And like behind each one of these is another painting. So basically, I'm going to be probably stacking them double high. So, yeah. People think it's easy, man. Because you see me doing shows and packing houses, man. But you got to put in the work, man. We talking about, I don't know, five years of painting, about 10 years sculpting. So yeah, as you see, man, we got a lot of work. Yeah, a lot of work. We just now figured out where stuff is gonna go. I be trying to tell my little mentees. Yeah, I'm calling y'all out. I was like, man, you know, if your boy, if you want to learn how to do this, you might want to holler at me because it's a method to the madness. And you'll probably never hang as much art, at least in the beginning, as I've hung. I did a show like I've done it with this much art filling up a whole gallery. But yeah, granted, this is probably going to be the last time I put this much art in one place, at least for another, I don't know, five years. I think my last big show was at Joe Mar Visions five years ago so five years is a good stretch for me to learn new stuff and rotate the art anyway like i say man this is really the only thing i've gotten hung that and that in the corner but everything else is spaced out man so anyway like i said before holler at me so yeah, I'm going to be real with y'all. Read my lips. This will be the last time I put this much of my art in one place at one time for a solo show. I mean, really. I, uh, yeah. This is day four and I'm not done hanging. And people that know me know that I'm pretty good at hanging some stuff in a day. Man, I still got this wall to hang. And this exhibit 
to hang. All I'm saying is this, if you want your best chance to get like my work at its go at its lowest prices, because we got some 2016 stuff up in here that I'm really trying to get rid of. And I'm also trying to uh, figure out what's going to be in silent auctions and raffles. And the raffles are free. All you got to do is show up. Yeah. So you ain't even got to pay nothing. You can get some art. Because I'm trying to, you know, clear out some of the old stuff. So, yeah. This is going to be your best time to get some of this art. Or how I say to get this work. So uh all I'm saying, day four down, and I still ain't done setting up, so holler at me. Uh alright, we got everything on the walls and on the floors. So tomorrow we basically it's it's we basically are gonna do the um we're gonna straighten up everything. Because we got it on the walls. We got it on the floors. But we still need to straighten it up. You know, put tags on it. So, I would say, man, if y'all want a uh, really good deal, uh, come by at the sneak peek and you're liable to get it before I even put the price tag on it. You might be able to talk me down. <laughs> Maybe. But, yeah, uh, so... Tomorrow between 5 and 9, or well, that would be Saturday for the, what is that, the 16th, 15th? One of them things, yeah. Saturday the 15th, come on through. Hardy and Nance is having a, uh open studio, so you'll be able to see everybody's work. But um, come on through, soft opening, or pretty much you know the sneak peek the way you get to see it maybe even buy something before the crowd gets in but uh i'm just gonna take this time right now to address uh one of the most asked questions that i've gotten so far question is what's the attire for this show Come as you are. That's all I'm going to say. Come as you are. I mean, if you coming from church, you know, Sunday Bible study, in your suit, and your tie, your white dress, then come as you are. If you're coming out from picking up the baby, Dropping off the baby at your baby daddy house or dropping it off or you dropping the baby off at your baby mama house, then come as you are. If you're coming from the gym and all hot and sweaty with your gym clothes on and your t-shirts, then bring that sweaty ass on in. Come as you are. If you got your favorite frat shirt or sorority dress or something like that, and you be like, you know what? I've been wanting to wear this whole year, but the COVID got me locked up in the house. Then my answer to that is come as you are. I don't need to say nothing more. If you said, you know what, Rodney, this is the one time of year that I'm comfortable enough to dress like a unicorn with a speech impediment. Uh, I can see myself in this person's art. Yeah. yeah. Oh, squirrel. Come as you are. <laughs> if you say, man, you know what? I always wanted to go somewhere dressed like a Gay pirate. <laughs>
Well, then come on in. Shit. Come as you are. You might say, man, you know what, Rodney? I want to dress like a space cowboy. Well, get it up, bastard. Come as you are. I think you pretty much getting my point. If you want to wear anything you want to wear, any way you want to dress, anything you want to represent, man, come as you are. Man, it's a party. This your boy. You know me. I'm not one of those judgmental people. You can wear what you want to wear. I don't care. You could be a six foot, uh, two, three hundred and pound, three hundred and fifty pound man in Daisy Dukes. And we ain't even talking about drag. I'm talking about just a dude, you know, lumberjack looking dude in Daisy Dukes because, you know, it makes him feel sexy. I don't know. I mean, sometimes you just do what you got to do if you want to feel sexy as a man. You know, sometimes a man wears stretchy pants and a luchador mask around the house because it makes him feel sexy. But if you want to dress like that, Shit, come as you are. Hell, I'll take a picture with you. And we can post that shit on the internet so I could be like, hey, it takes all kinds. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, y'all get my point. Just come on out, hang out with your boy. You know what I'm saying? Get out the house, see some art, see some awesome artists. You know what I'm saying? Do something, you know. You know, get the summer started. With your boy, since you since you could do your hot boy and hot girl summers, you start off hanging out with your boy. I'm just saying. Holla at me! And all I gotta say, all I gotta say, this how good God is. Originally, I was supposed to. Uh, this was supposed to be the start of my setup day. Like, I was supposed to start today and end on Friday. But I was blessed by the good folks at Hardy and the Nan Studio to let me have an extra week on my setup time. So now, all the art, y'all saw it, all of it's there already. Already set up, had the sneak preview. And now I don't have to worry about losing a day or two or three because of rain. I'm just saying, you got to thank God for the little things and the big things too. When you're doing good, you got to thank him. Just like when you're doing bad, you call his name. I'm just saying. <laughs> Yeah, this would have been day seven of the setup, but uh, yeah, I, I think I could sit down this day. Anyway, see y'all Saturday. Holler at me! Doing stuff, doing stuff, with Uncle Rodney doing stuff, all kinds of stuff. With Uncle Rodney doing stuff, doing stuff. With Uncle Rodney doing stuff, all kinds of stuff. With Uncle Rodney, yeah. Ha! All right, man.